All right, chest day. Let's go. I did a little warm up uh, from empty bar to one plate at a time. I did three warm ups, so now I'm doing my working sets. Uh, and yeah, today I wanted to just speak a little bit about the cut and how that works, uh, why I'm doing it, and a little bit on my focus right now in bodybuilding. So, I'm on a cut and I'll be doing a cut I think for 100 maybe plus days, let's see, depending on how well it goes. And my whole idea now is that I've been shifting over the years that I've been working out. I would do cardio focused uh, workouts, then powerlifting focused workouts and bodybuilding, calisthenics and all of those things. And now when I'm gonna do this cut, when I'm doing this cut, my idea that I came up with is to get to hypotrophy, do maximum bodybuilding and minimum of everything else that's required. Of course, some cardio must be done and some other things, some other aspects can be used. But the idea is to tear the muscle, not necessarily using huge weight and <clears throat> to let it grow. So proper nutrition, a lot of repetitions, a lot of working sets. And you know, the whole goal of every workout for me right now is to feel a pump where you know, the muscle that I've worked on is full of blood and I can feel that it's a little torn and that it's pumped up to its maximum every time. So I cover the muscle once a week and it gets fully ripped, then it fully recovers and then, you know, I go onto it again. It has enough of that gap and then in that way I think with my kind of body and my kind of nutrition and the things that I'm taking, which is creatine and protein at the moment, I will be able to grow the most and get the most out of this cut where I'm losing or potentially will be losing some weight uh, which is excess fat and then going with my body fat percentage to ideally at around 8-9 but anything below 10 would work or just 10 maybe. Yeah so unfortunately I had to switch over to voiceover because a whole bunch of people came to the gym and a friend of mine also came and someone put some music on and it was difficult to speak and concentrate so yeah i was also training my friend but yeah planning to go on a cut i mean i am going on a cut i'm planning to switch like i said mostly to bodybuilding where i'm just trying to rip the muscle grow it back and as i'm losing weight gain more muscle and you know lose that body fat and then that way get shredded and hopefully i'll be ready for some competition by summer if i'll go for it maybe i'll go for one maybe not let's see how that goes but uh more importantly i'm just trying to do it for fun to see how how much body weight uh how much fat percentage I can lose and if I can go down to something around seven eight would be perfect and the goal of it is basically I don't know if I don't go for a competition then I'll just go for a photo shoot or maybe a few photo shoots and you know just put it out there for myself that okay I've been able to achieve this goal I've been able to achieve this kind of body and yeah then move on with that and probably in late uh after summer in autumn probably start the bulk again go for the bulk from autumn to winter and then once again do the same thing and in that way hopefully achieve my uh, peak or you know that perfect body that i'm looking for the problem with that is that i don't think i'll ever achieve it because you're always looking at yourself from a perspective of a pump you know you come to the gym I come to the gym, 
I do a workout, I look pumped. My chest, my triceps, my biceps, you know, the back, even the legs, everything, you know, gets pumped. And then you look at yourself and you're like, okay, this is how I want to look. And then even if you actually get to that point, then, you know, after a month to maybe a year, you get to that pump stage when you're not pumped. Once you get a pump again, then you're bigger. So you're always chasing, you're like that, uh, donkey who is chasing after the carrot which is right in front of him tied uh <laughs> with a rope hanging on a stick which is tied to his back you know which he just keeps running and he's running forever essentially so that's kind of the problem but anyway i enjoy the journey i love the process and so that's what i'm planning to do this is uh at least for now this is kind of my plan maybe i'll switch to powerlifting later on or calisthenics crossfit whatnot but yeah this is it.